Hello, what's going on? Um, today I took a tr trip over to my local friend Meyer and um, I wanted to see if they had the Mountain Dew Frostbite, but I didn't see any. They did have something that I was uh, interested in when I was browsing on Amazon. It's this uh, dry botanical bubbly vanilla flavor and uh, you could get um, a 12 pack for like $16 and some odd cents and that's basically three four packs like this and I was I want it the other thing too uh, the reason why I almost got it was because um, on Amazon certain things you can get on uh, EBT and if you order a certain amount, if your order is a certain amount in dollars, you get free shipping. Um, so, the thing is, Amazon Pantry is um, kind of discontinued now. So, it's not as easy to pick and choose the little things here and there that you want. Just one of this, one of that, etc. You have to like kind of buy in bulk more often, um, but yeah. So like a pack of twelve was basically like sixteen bucks, and I was thinking about it and thinking about it, but I ended up not really deciding to go that way and do that. But over at the Fred Meyer today, where I, when I was looking for the frostbite. Um, they didn't have that, but they did have this, and so a four-pack was $5.99, and so I was like, oh, hey, that's that stuff I want to try, so I decided to grab a pack, and I had one on the way home on the walk, um, so I've kind of pretty much formulated my opinion. Basically, I'm glad I didn't commit to the 12-pack. Because, I mean, this stuff's not horrible, but um, my preferentials as far as f soda flavors and stuff like that and the amount of sweetness in something, um, like, this, this stuff only has four ingredients. Um, it's caffeine-free. It's only got 60 calories per can. Each can is 12 ounces. Um... The total sugars are only 16 grams per can, whereas like a can of Coca-Cola or Pepsi or something is like, I think somewhere in the 30s or 40s. So that's kind of like, huh. But um, yeah, the ingredients are actually like, there's only four ingredients, carbonated water, cane sugar, natural flavors, and phosphoric acid. And because the uh, cane sugar, the sweetness, is actually so, like, low in this stuff, it's more like the, the, the sweetness is barely noticeable, but, like, the vanilla flavor is more like a vanilla essence, kind of like that, like, other um, bubbly stuff that's, um, like, flavor-essenced water. Like, it comes in cherry, lime, grapefruit, lemon... Um, and a bunch, a bunch of different ones, but these, um, yeah, like the sweetness is so low that like the flavor only comes, comes off more like an essence. And when it comes to vanilla, there's a couple of different ways it can go. It can remind me of like vanilla ice cream or like vanilla yogurt. And they're very different. They're, they're two different kind of things, but, um, yeah, the, the uh, soda is mostly clear. Um, I'll go ahead and just pop a bit in. Here. It's kind of like a cream soda, but like not really. It's like... It's like if you had a cream soda that was um, stored away for a while and the sweetness kind of just uh, went out on it and it kind of like went funny. 
it, it it's like this stuff is fresh it's in date completely um it's just like it's not not much sweetness to it it's it's okay though i mean i wouldn't buy it again probably but i mean i am gonna finish these I do like the can design though, like all the like cool little patterns and stuff on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like carbonated drinks that have a flavor to them, but it's like very subtle, um, then you might like this. But um, I think it's okay-ish, but it's not really to my preference. So yeah, I'm I'm not going to... I'm glad it was available somewhere locally for me to actually try, uh, and which means I didn't have to commit to a whole 12 pack. But yeah, this isn't something I'm gonna buy again. I just wanted to try it once and kind of be done with it. Anyway, that's pretty much been it. Um, I'm waiting on some Amazon orders. One is supposed to arrive between yesterday and the 12th. And, um, I've got some other ones. One, one should be coming on the 8th and I've got some other ones that are like kind of down the line. So, um, I'll probably do some videos on, on that stuff when it arrives, but, um, that's pretty much been it for now. Um, I don't really have much else to, uh, mention the, uh, school lunch packs have pretty much been mostly the same stuff. Um, so nothing really new to talk about there. So that's basically about it. Um, this video's almost eight minutes, so I'm gonna go now and, uh, talk to you later.